joy like a fountain. I grew up in the church singing these words all the time, but instead of experiencing this fountain of joy I sang about, my life told a different story. In my life, joy has never felt anything like a fountain. In fact, to me, the pursuit of joy has always felt much more like an arduous climb up a steep, unforgiving mountain. And I don't think I'm alone. Our world today is characterized by stress and worry and depression and fear. We lose hope as we continually find ourselves in these impossible situations on the mountain of life, wondering how we can carry on through such pain and suffering. But what if we're missing something foundational when it comes to understanding the joy that God created us to experience? What if there is a critical connection between joy and suffering that can revolutionize our journey up the mountain of life? The biblical narrative culminates in joy that is very much like a fountain when we reach our final goal and glory in heaven. But if we're ever going to make it to that finish line with a sense of fulfillment and our faith intact, it is imperative that we uncover the secrets of joy in the heavenward journey. So maybe it's time to start singing a new tune. Maybe instead of spending our lives searching for this mystical fountain of joy, we should step into God's story and discover what it looks like to live with joy in the journey. It's time to reclaim the lives we were created to live. It's time for a joy revolution. It's time to embrace joy like a mountain. Ha, ha, ha.